Hey, watch some Volgora's videos, and this is a video response to Super Mario 157, his video on support Mega Man for Brawl. Okay, so I've seen a lot of comments on these people. So, okay, this is gonna be like a bit of a rant. All right, so these people complain and whine that Mega Man isn't in Brawl. Okay, you can't always get what you want in the video game world. Okay. If you want something that bad, go to school, go to college, get into these developers, work for them, and that way you have a say in it, and that way if you get all this power one day, you can put Mega Man in Brawl f number four or whatever, or New Smash Bros, whatever. So it's just so lame and so juvenile, so, such so such so babyish these people that complain and whine and they go oh Mega Man's not in Brawl so I'm not going to buy it that's so that's so stupid because May, the, Brawl has been anticipated for years I mean Smash Bros on the GameCube Me Melee came out in 2001 I'm pretty sure I'm going to look it up right now just to make sure Smash Bros Brawl or melee. Okay, so all these people complain, and you know, if if you're really that, uh, that just that obsessed over having Mega Man on Brawl, you need to you need just to take a walk outside, and they could just soak up some air, because if if you think it's that important to have Mega Man on Brawl, then you're missing the point of even playing the game, because. What's the point if if of one and bra one of them brawl if you're not gonna buy it if he's not in there anyways? Okay, you want Mega Man brawl so you can play the game and, and be him. But if if you're not gonna buy the game if he's not in there, then why the heck do you even care if he's in there in the first place? You know, it's just <laughs> so stupid. Okay, so as we all know, the game's already been out in Japan. Okay, there's so many leaks you can't ignore them. Um, it came out January 29th, and frankly, you know, it doesn't, I'm, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter to me, but I, I've, I've gotten over it. I know I've wanted Mega Man and Zero and some other people, and most of Mega Man, Mega Man X in Brawl, really bad. But, you know, I, I you know, you can't always give you one. And, uh, oh, where was, when was it released? Yep, 2001, I was right. Japan, it was... November 21st and in North America it was December 3rd wow they were going to almost have it on the same day but nope they had to delay it but I'd rather have it delayed and have more stuff than uh, have it not delayed and have a lot of stuff left out but uh yeah so if you're one of these people that that are like oh I want I want Mega Man and Bro I'm not going to buy it Whee! All right, so maybe you need to just sell your your Wii and your video games and just get a job and just work hard to to get into a developer so that way you can make the games you want or whatever or or you need to just just grow up and and buy and play the game anyways even though he's not in brawl. Okay, another thing I have to say is these people that complain and they go, "Oh, Mega Man is just gonna be a or uh, not Mega Man. Uh, Brawl is just a rehash." Okay, you're stupid. Brawl is no rehash. It's called a sequel. You know how similar Halo Three is to Halo Two? A lot. There's key differences, but they're very similar. I'm not saying I don't like Halo Three. I'm just saying it's it's very similar. I'm not saying it's a rehash. I'm just saying it's similar. It's called a sequel. Oh my God. Okay, so there's the reasons why Brawl is no rehash. It's a sequel. Okay, one, uh, like three different ways, no, four different ways to use your controller. You can use Geeky controller, Wiimote, Wiimote Nunchuck, or the classic controller. So you have to lay down 120 extra bucks just to play the game with four people. Reason number two, it's online. Okay, play anywhere in the world for free. Reason number three. Uh, level editor, make your own levels. This is amazingly awesome, sweet. This is just crazy cool. Okay, how many times have you been playing melee and you're like, oh, man, I wish I could just make a new place. I'm sick of t sick and tired of playing 
these same places over and over. You can do that in Brawl. There's number four. Another reason, assist trophies. That's really number four. Uh, that was not in Melee. That's cool how you can just get a trophy. And it's like a Pokemon, only it's not a Pokemon, you know, to help you. And then reason number five, you got, um, well, assist trophies, but, uh, Oh yeah, Final Smashes. So that's new too. That's really cool. So anyway, it says Brawl is just a rehash. You're freaking retarded. Okay, you need to just go walk outside. Uh, go drink some V8, read a book, or you know, just don't open your mouth or don't hit that post button because you have no idea what you're talking about. You're just freaking stupid and you don't need, you don't realize it. Okay, so another thing is um. It kind of bugs me. These people that, that say, I don't want to play Smash Bros. It's too hard. Um, it's not too hard, okay? The controls are the easiest controls in any fighting game. Okay, I know maybe not the simplest controls ever. I mean, ooh, in Super Mario Bros., you just had one button for run and one button for jump. Yeah, that was also in the 80s. But in, this, in Smash Bros., you have one thing to move with. You have one button for attack. One button for special attack, and then you, can, you have three different ways to jump, Y, X, or up, and then you have two buttons for shield, so you can use L or R, and then Z is to grab, or you can use R and A. That sounds really complicated you know, at first, but you'll realize you don't have to do all these different combinations to do a move. Like, you don't have to do up, up, down, R, A to do a move. You don't have to do forward, forward, A to do a move, like in World of Combat. You don't have to do down, forward, B to do a move. No, you just do forward, B. Or any direction in A, like hard. No, it's not. And Mortal Kombat, you have to go like forward, forward A, down, down B, up, down A, and different characters have different buttons. I actually think Mortal Kombat wasn't too hard, but that was because I played like almost well, all the classic ones. And uh, um, Soul Calibur 2. Sure, you only had you had attack, kick, and I think another attack, two attacks, and a kick. They had a block. Sure, those moves are pretty. Those buttons are pretty simple, but to, in order to do moves, you had to like do different directions. And oh my god, I, I couldn't memorize it. And then for Street Fighter, sure, it's it simply have three buttons for kick, three buttons for punch. But to do a move, it's near impossible. You have to like study a manual in order to do a move. But in Smash Bros, it it's simple. You have just a direction and a button. That's it. That's all you need to know. Oh yeah, and it also helps when you know how to jump when you're falling. It's so funny when when some noobs play and, and they're like, Oh no, I just died. I said, yeah, because you didn't jump when you're falling. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, well, you can. You can jump twice on the ground, or once off the ground, once in the air, once in the air and if you have one of many characters, you can, jump, you can jump a third time with up B. Okay, and so a uh, final part to this video is... Okay, that was Vagora. Stay tuned for more.